Ladies and gentlemen, I will uh, uh, focus uh, my uh, 15 minutes intervention on one particular aspect of what the Google Data Center of Industrial Corporation is doing, and it has to do with clusters. By clusters, what we mean is the uh, initiative, uh, initiatives taken at uh, local level, cluster, sector century, region, a city, a prefecture in Japan, where you have the proper mix of the key stakeholders of this so-called innovation ecosystem. You have a mix of uh, researchers, university scientists, entrepreneurs, startups, larger companies, investors, <laughs> banks, business angels, venture capitalists, local policymakers. And this proximity of the key stakeholders creates a proper environment for innovation to flourish, for young or uh, small companies to uh, start up, and also for those small companies to grow, start up, and scale. This is happening in Europe. This is also happening in Japan, not always with the same format, the same uh, dynamism. And what we are trying to do, and what we have launched actually just uh, days ago, is an EU-Japan Regional Cooperation Help Desk. So we will help clusters and regions in Europe to connect with clusters and prefectures in Japan, 47 prefectures in Japan. We will provide information to them about the existing instruments uh, at EU level, at the member states level, and also uh, in uh, Japan with the JPO and METI and PMEX. We will also help them to know each other better through matchmaking so that uh, they can uh, present uh, themselves and what they are trying to find uh, in Europe in terms of uh, expertise, competence, or specialization. We have in Europe a lot of initiatives regarding clusters and regions. We have also many uh, network of clusters and regions. And there is also, uh, also in Japan, at the level of clusters and prefectures, many initiatives. So we will make available, make visible the existing tools and funding which are uh, already there. No need to reinvent the wheel. There is in Japan a strong push at the policy level for this so called regional revitalization. And in Europe, there is also a similar push for the smart specialization at the local level. Not every region, not every cluster will be able to do everything, but there is a need for finding a niche, finding a specialization where they can actually be very good including at international level. That was my first point. We will help the connection between clusters and regions on both sides. Second point is, of course, we know that uh, it will not be enough to focus on clusters. We need to have a good integration of this action with the other services which are needed by the European businesses and the Japanese businesses. And I mentioned some of them which are included in the EU Japan Center for Industrial Cooperation. One is the, it's about technology transfer and intellectual property. And I leave it to Luca to go back on this help desk that we have on text transfer and IP. Public procurement also is very important. This is an important aspect of the EU Japan Economic Partnership Agreement. This is a huge and tough potential, and we will help European businesses to understand how public procurement is done in Japan and how they can benefit from it. Earlier this afternoon, I mentioned, of course, the very important New Japan Economic Partnership Agreement, this uh, free trade agreement. This is absolutely essential, essential to make sure that our businesses on both sides fully use it. And we have put in place an EPA help desk to guide, to inform, and also to stimulate the European businesses vis-à-vis -vis the EPA. Do you know, to 
Today in Europe we have something like 24 million small and medium enterprises. Today there are about 64,000 European businesses direct exporters to Japan. And with the EPA, certainly much more can uh, use this uh, agreement. So we will inform them, we will guide them so that they know what to do because there is no automatism in the EPA. You need to do something regarding rules of origin, regarding geographical indication, and if you don't, if you don't know, then you actually underexploit the benefits of the agreement. So uh, elements that I wanted to draw your attention to in terms of uh, New Japan cooperation uh, came to me as a surprise uh, when I came back to Japan about a year ago. And this is coming from the fact that if you look at uh, the European businesses now in Japan, many of them are not only in Japan for the Japanese market. Many of them are in Japan to team up with Japanese businesses for operating together outside Southeast Asia, Latin America, Africa, EU neighboring countries, Gulf, Central Asia. And I give you a number to illustrate that this is not a marginal, small sort of uh, annex. According to the German Chamber of Commerce and Industry, doing a survey of the German businesses every year in Japan, 70% of the German businesses in Japan are not in Japan only for the Japanese market, but for this kind of alliance, partnership, any sort of uh, joint operation with Japanese businesses and operating together with them, in particular in Southeast uh, Asia. So this is a very important aspect. We will try to better understand this uh, business trend. Uh, what are the drivers? What are the opportunities? What are the, the bottlenecks? We will organize actually here. Uh, at the beginning of December, a conference on, on, on that topic with concrete cases. And this is very much connected to the connectivity uh, aspects, the EU-Japan Connectivity Partnership, which was signed uh, a few weeks ago at the end of September by Prime Minister Abe and President Juncker. This means that uh, with the EPA, and that will be my conclusion, with the EPA, you and Japan are intensifying their connection, their bilateral cooperation. This is good, this is necessary, this is a challenge to make sure to implement it. But beyond this bilateral cooperation, we are now moving, you and Japan are now moving to another step. What you and Japan, not only looking at each other, can look together at the rest of the world, at third countries for being more competitive, for better accessing the markets, for better competing with the Chinese companies, for better influencing the business environment, the law, the standards, the soft economic diplomacy, etc. So, EU and Japan are on the most important topics on the same line. Think about multilateralism, think about rule-based trade, think about the Paris Agreement, we are both here in the Paris Agreement, contrary to our good friend from the United States. So we share a number of very important things, and what we are trying to do is to connect to each other better, and to project our alliance, our joint understanding, vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world on the global scene. And the EU Japan Center for the Industrial Cooperation will be one of the instruments to help towards this objective. Thank you very much.